right? Okay, so what I meant here is one day Allah will bless them, Allah will give them something will happen, responsible, good. I'd rather have my daughter with a guy who doesn't have much, who's going to honor her, love her, respect her, spoil her, than to be with a wealthy guy who's hardly ever there and his life is in the shambles. Why? Where has where our deen and akhlaq gone? Yes, if you have everything and you've ticked off all five, six boxes, even the voluntary boxes, you're lucky, you're fortunate. Thank Allah. Noorun ala no. But not everyone's wife's name is Noor. May Allah grant us ease. My brothers, my sisters. You know, when we tell our child at a young age, one was them hearing us. Like I said, the child is programmed by the mother, the father. The Prophet says, every child is born upon the nature, natural. Everything is ready for programming. So the parents program them either into Judaism or into Christianity or into perhaps uh, another faith or perhaps into good Muslims. Subhanallah, it's the programming. It happens. When you speak to your child, your brother, your sister, the one who you work with, the one who works for you, the one whom you work for, a relative, a person you interact with, whoever else it might be, with bad words, hard words, harsh words, many things happen. Number one, you've engaged in a sin. The Prophet ﷺ asked us to speak with respectful words, even if you disagree. I've come across people telling their own kids, hey, you're a pig. Have you heard that? You're a dog. You're an animal. You're dark. You're dirty. You're black. You're thick. You're stupid. You're immature. When you say this to your children, there is definitely a reaction. Definitely. You're pressing the wrong button on your computer. Do you know that? You know what's going to happen? It's going to jam. It's not going to work. There comes a time when not only will the child use those words, but there is a negative impact in the hard drive of the child. They will react to it either then or a little bit later or sometime later in their lives when they are married, maybe when they are fathers. And then you find if you go to a psychologist, you will find or to a specialist you'll find they will trace it back to the days you were abused by your own parents. So watch your words. These are either empowering words or destructive words that will destroy, but we don't realize. You think you're in authority. Allah is watching you. You cannot tell your child or anyone else bad words. It's haram. Your child is an amana. Your neighbor is an amana. It's a trust. Allah chose your neighbor. Today, who you're sitting next to, it was Allah's plan, designed to give you the opportunity either to earn closeness to Allah or to earn a sin. What do you want to do? Say a good word. Salaamu Alaikum. MashaAllah. You've got some rewards. Wa Rahmatullahi. Another few rewards. Wa Barakatuh. Another few rewards. Smile. Another few rewards. MashaAllah. Subhanallah, I could say a little bit more, but with saffron, it's okay. <laughs> I was going to say, share your food, you know, give them before you eat. It's okay. You should though. May Allah grant us goodness. Everyone's here for a purpose. Are we going to be selfish? That's just an example. But Allah tailor makes everything. When someone is road raging and you're a witness to it or a victim of it or a perpetrator of it, don't think Allah doesn't know or didn't plan it or it's just happening like that. It was planned by Allah to watch what you do when someone speaks bad about you, be it online or offline, live or not live. Live meaning right in front of you, on your face. When they say bad words, they accuse you, they say false, it will hurt you. But how do you react? In an equally bad fashion or are you going to convert it into a reward? You can smile and carry on, subhanAllah. They might not understand what you do. Sometimes it's a bit hardcore. It's a little bit heavy. No problem. They will be jealous. Jealousy is within what shaitan has actually pushed into mankind. Jealousy. Protect your heart from it. It will make you say things and do things that will not help you, destroy you. Not everyone who's made money is pushing drugs or dealing in something illegal. But that's what people think. Oh, this person made money. They bought a car. Wow. I'm sure they're pushing drugs. Have you heard that before? 
That's what they say. I'm sure they're doing something. In my part of the world, they say they're doing diamonds. You know why? You can actually dig around your yard and find a few diamonds. Anyone ready to come to Zimbabwe? <laughs> Mashallah. The perks of it, no electricity, no water, no proper sanitation, no proper roads, but diamonds, mashallah. What else? Gold, what else? All of that, subhanAllah, there is a legal way of doing it and an illegal way of doing it. Getting back to my point, you've got to make sure that you think good and you say good things. Every word is a programming that you utter within someone else. I've come across people who get married and they're so quiet, they don't talk. Some people not married, as they grow older, they can't say anything. They're just too quiet. You know why? When they were young, nothing they ever did was good enough. Nothing. Nothing they ever did was good enough. Mom and dad didn't realize it's your firstborn. You pick on the way they sat, the way they ate, the way they spoke, the way they dressed, the way they moved, the way they were at school. Everything was just not good enough. There are many of us here and perhaps a lot outside as well who just don't praise their own kids. Everything is negative. You're just not good enough. You could have got, you know what I told my children? You go to school to enjoy yourself. Work as hard as you can and do your best. Even if you failed, I still love you. For as long as you worked hard, you tried your best, you enjoyed your days. Mashallah. You don't have to have A grades because evidence of it is the richest from amongst us failed at school. It's not connected to how much money you have. In most cases, there are some exceptions. In my part of the world, when I look at the wealthiest, they haven't even passed grade 7 sometimes. Loaded, very wealthy. That's Allah showing you that you know what? It's not necessarily connected. It may be or it may not be. In the eyes of Allah, there's nothing. He doesn't need you to have a degree in order to get wealth. The idea is you go to school, you enjoy your days. Yes, you try your best. You want love from your parents because the programming comes with love. We should love one another. You have a spouse, a wife. Or a husband, I've got to say both, before we only used to speak about how men treat their wives. Now, there is a problem even the other way, although perhaps it may be lesser, but it's growing. We need to address it. I tell you what, say loving words to your spouse. Understand that your spouse comes from a different background, different mentality, different upbringing, different parents, different surroundings, different everything. And you know what? You have to tolerate you have to respect, you have to say good words, you have to keep doing that a year, two years, five years, and then you find yourself settling down. Settling down. You settle down at that juncture. If you don't have loving words, kind words, beautiful words from your own spouse, it's not going to work long. Even if you're at a distance, but you keep on speaking to your spouse, telling them how much you miss them, how much you love them, how much you respect them, how much you appreciate them, how much, you know, everything else, how much you just keep looking at their, their, their whatever, you know, face on your phone or whatever else, you know, that's your spouse at the end of the day. Those are words, they're an investment, not just for the hereafter, even in your own relationship, even in your own relationship. Wow, everyone loves to be appreciated. We only pick on the food when there's something wrong with it. What about the millions of times we've eaten when we didn't even think of the fact that there was nothing wrong with this food? So these words mean a lot. Watch your words. I have come to learn that many people behave the way they behave because of how they were spoken to and treated when they were young. I want to say that again because people don't take this seriously. From amongst us, Nearly all of us, the way we behave and the way we actually speak very closely, the way we are, even, you know, people say it's my nature, my character. That character was developed at some stage and there was a big role, a big role, not necessarily the entire role. In fact, not the entire role, a big role played by how you were treated and spoken to as you were young and you grew up and what happened in your life. You lost a parent, a deficit, how was it filled? It wasn't, what happened? A lot of the young boys and girls on drugs, sometimes with mental you know, illness and so on, some of them, their issues, a lot of them in fact, their issues that they cannot cope with. 
their issues that have transpired in their lives, had they happened to you, you'd have been a bigger goner than anyone else. And they are struggling. Reach out to them. You don't just look at a child who's struggling with mental issues or with anything else and say, oh, this person's mad. No. What did they go through? What's my responsibility? What should I do? What has happened in this child's life? What, what made it such that the child got to where they are? Very, very important. We don't look at it that way. And we think, well, we're Muslim. You know, your Iman is weak. What Iman? Who nurtured that Iman? Who spoke to the child? Who actually gave the child respect? You want your child or the others to grow up properly, your spouse, whoever else? Amazing. You just need to respect them. And they will learn and automatically not only respect themselves, but how to respect others, how to talk, how to look at everyone else. You didn't spend time with them. There's something that's going to go wrong in their lives. The deficit will be filled in another way.